We've just gotten our hands on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and I can't wait to tell you all about it. What does Samsung's top tier smartphone bring to the table this year? I'm Ali for 5M Tech and let's find out. Together the S24 Ultra has a familiar looking design with the flat back squared off corners and separate rings for each camera. The phone has a smooth stain less finish. The main change is the frame which is now made of titanium like we saw in the latest iPhone Pro series just as last year's year's model. The S24 Ultra has a 6.8 inch QHD AMOLED screen but all of the S24 models have LTPO technology for a more adaptive refresh rate their 120Hz refresh rate can dial down all the way to 4Hz or even 1Hz or even Hz 10 to sound the content to save energy what you might have already noticed at. The display of the S24 Ultra is flat not curved plus it has even slimmer bezels and Samsung claims the display is 40% brighter. The screen is also protected by a new glass called Corning Gorilla Armor. This glass is supposed to be up to 4 times tougher against scratches and impact and provides 75% reduced glare for even better visibility. Of course the S24 Ultra has full stylus support as before and the stylus tucks away into the phone. The phone has a 5000 mAh battery like last year and the 45W charging and wireless charging support haven't changed as far as the chipset goes the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Galaxy S24 Ultra will universally use the new Snapdragon at Gen 3. No Exynos chip here like you might get on the other S24 models. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is 2024's new Android flagship chipset and it provides better over performance especially when it comes to ray tracing for games plus the S24 Ultra has a much larger much larger vapor chamber than last year for better passive cooling and improved thermal management during those long. During those long gaming sessions the chipset also brings advanced support for I used for better image processing as well as other AI based features. These features are integrated within Samsung's new software suite One UI 6.1 and they are available across the S24 lineup. One exciting feature real time two way translation of calls within the native phone app with support for 13 languages at launch and for a face to face conversation. The phone can also perform live translation of voices and it can live translate text as well like on the Google Pixels you can transcribe a conversation into text with speak speaker labels and the AI can then summarize that into notes for you. AI has also made its way into the Samsung keyboard here you can access a translator as well as chat assist where the AI can give you suggestions to rephrase your words when you are in the car the Galaxy AI can summarize messages you received and also suggest appropriate answers based on context. Circle to search search with Google is neat you can circle or tap an image video or text for an on the fly Google search quick share allows you to send info between any Android device and Windows PC and the photo editor has gotten some new tricks edits edit suggestions will give you recommendations on how to. Edit your photo for a nice result reflection removal uses AE to remove annoying reflections from your photos and within a photo you can click on and move objects and even resize them for the desired effect. Now let's move on to the S24 Ultra's camera like last year there's a 200 megapixel main cam, a 10 megapixel 3x zoom and a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam. But now instead of the 10 times telephoto there is a new 50 megapixel 5 times zoom. Samsung calls this setup a quad tele system meaning you'd get optical level quality results at 2 times, 3 times, 5 times and 10 times. The 5 times telephoto in particular uses AI and allegedly some sort of an adaptive pixel sensor to get the same 10 times time zoom quality as on the S23 Ultra. This telephoto cam is also supposed to be better for nighttime stills and videos the pixels are 60% larger so they can absorb more light plus there's two times wider OIS angle correction for better stability. 
Speaking of videos, there's the option for instant slow-mo where EACI converts your regular footage into slow motion by producing the intermediate frames but also this year you can record in slow-mo from the get-go on 4K at 120fps and finally on the S24 generation you can get a Super HDR. Preview on the viewfinder as well as the gallery and supported third-party apps aiming to provide more natural brighter highlights. So there you have it guys, the Galaxy S24 Ultra should be more durable and some people may prefer the flat screen. We'll have to see how the camera quality has changed and of course you have all of those AI features to play with. Let us know what you think and I'll see you on the next one.